van life is huge right now and we've jumped on the bandwagon. After spending several months building a custom 2007 Dodge Sprinter van, we were ready to add plenty of technology. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and making this van energy efficient and comfortable was all part of the plan right from the very beginning. We also wanted it to be a van that we could use to work in on the road when we're traveling. I'm going to give you a brief look at what we did here in terms of the technology and I'll just say that later on I'll do more of a full van tour with a lot more detail but for now here's the basics. We installed a 12 volt electrical system with a 100 amp hour battery. It charges off the main van battery while we drive and that battery will last us between 12 and 24 hours depending on what we're running. Connected to the battery are a max fan, a truck fridge, LED lights, a small marine water pump, and USB plugs for things like charging our phones. The first major technology we added was an AC inverter so we could use regular powered appliances and other gadgets in the van. We connected a power bar to the inverter and that power bar uses both AC and USB power. We flush mounted it to the kitchen counter for a more streamlined look. Now we haven't had good luck with this however. When we try to plug in something like a kettle, we can't get power and we're getting a strange alarm from the inverter. More investigation is definitely needed. There's also a max fan installed in the roof of the van to provide both passive ventilation and active ventilation. We can crack the lid to keep air circulating and prevent condensation buildup overnight, or we can turn the fan on to either suck warm air out of the van, like when we're cooking, or to bring air in for cooling. Max fan comes with a remote control, but mysteriously it doesn't work. Max fan thus far has told us to check the infrared sensor, so that is our next project. Wanting reliable but low voltage lighting, we ordered some no-name brand light strips from Amazon. My husband Roger soldered and wired everything up and connected it to the battery. It has a remote control too, in fact I have it right here, and the whole system so far works really great. The lights are divided into three zones and we can have each one off or on and even change the colors. It makes the van really fun. Plus, if we change the lights to a color, it keeps the bugs from being attracted to the inside. Since we're finding that we need more power than the single battery can supply, we're now getting some solar panels from Renogy. We've done the math on our power needs, both current and future, and opted for two Renogy 100 watt, 12 volt mono panels. They have just arrived, so we're going to be installing those soon and posting a full video about it, and we will give you a full review of the panels as well. We've also got a new device called the Renogy Phoenix PHX100. It's a small soda can sized power bank that can recharge our phones about six to nine times or a laptop one or two times. This is our just in case backup. We're also contemplating a Renogy Lycan AC generator. We also installed a JVC backup camera and a multimedia head unit to view the camera and to provide radio and smartphone integration. We added the optional Sirius satellite antenna so we could still get radio in remote locations and it does also have Apple CarPlay which we're pretty excited about. Lastly, because we want to work during our soon to be epic road trips, we recently added cellular boosting technology from a company called SureCall. The SureCall Fusion To Go 3 is a built-in system with a fixed antenna that lives here in the van. We also had a chance to review the N-Range portable cell booster, which is easy to swap from car to car. Both definitely increased our signal strength, and you can check out the full review of those two items right here on the YouTube channel. That is the gist of what we've got going on here. If you've got questions or suggestions, please reach out and let me know. This is definitely still a work in progress and I'd say we're about 90% done, but as we put the finishing touches on, I'd love to know what you think we might be missing or some ideas to help make improvements. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Erin. You can read more about our van build and see more detailed specs at techgadgetscanada.com. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help me afford things like solar panels for the van. I'm Erin. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, at ErinLYYC. You can also find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.